hello everyone welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose today i'm going to show you a very unique tutorial that is based on create ml so just like core ml performs the different functionalities according to the models that we have loaded into our system create ml is basically the pre uh, part or the prerequisite of core ml it can be used to create those models so create ml is very much powerful as compared to core ml so in create ml you can create the dot ml model extension that we can use inside a core ml module so i'm very excited for this tutorial let's get started what we have to learn in this tutorial so we are going to launch the xcode and after that from the drop down we are going to select the option open developer tools so it is going to help us to create a new document and there are certain options on the left hand side you can see that you can create uh, classifiers for images video motion sound test and table so you can see that there are different type of classifiers as template available for these uh, functionalities so i am going to select the image classification one and press the button next now here i can enter the project name which will save the overall project of create ml so i have um, named it as climate classifier and you can add a license to it as well and then a description where you can basically state what this uh, classifier is capable of Once I press the create button, a project will be created with the extension of .mlproj. And here you can see that I have 11 classes mentioned here once I load the data set. So here it is showing me the total number of images and the total number of classes. And if I go to the data set and count, there are exactly 11 classes or 11 types of climate uh, images that are present inside this data set. The link to the data set is inside the description box. So there is a validation data that is created automatically from the training data and there is no testing data for now. So there are certain iterations that you can perform. I have left it to 25, which is the default value in our case. And then there are certain augmentations that you can apply to the images to make increase the variability in the images. So on the right hand side, there's certain information on the left hand side. Again, I go to the data set. It is going to show me all the labels that are available inside this data set and the count of images against all of these labels. So here, this is the description that I've added for the project. So here is the climate classifier. So here are the different tabs which are empty for now since I haven't trained any model. Once I am able to train this model, the other tabs will then contain certain data or features of this model. So I have pressed the play button and it has started extracting the features from these images. What sort of features are added? None of that information is available for now. Uh, here I'm checking the data set. What sort of images are actually present inside the data set? So let me show you these. So there is a rainbow. There is a frost. This is a sandstorm image. Now there are some snow images. And there is hail and glaze images as well so thoroughly check the data set so that you can basically see that it follows all the requirements of your data or the model you want to build upon certain data
now the data is trained and as you can see that we have two of the graphs one is for the validation data and another one for is the actual data for the our training data and you can see the percentages of accuracy then you can see the different tabs training evaluation and then a preview tab here you can add files and see the results or against each of the image and then there are certain this is the output the class labels now I'm going to go to the preview tab and show you how different files can be added here to see the results and what does how to read these results. So I have added a frost image and as you can see that it is saying it is a frost with 73% confidence then inhale and then a rhyme. Now I'm going to add another image from another label or category. First from Sandstrom. And it is classified like on a wrong side. It is not basically a fog smog, but it is a sand storm. So you can see that some images can be classified on the basically into some other label or some other category. That is why the accuracy is not 100%, but it's 86% for the validation data. Now I have selected a data from the fog smog category and as you can see that it is classified with the 68% confidence for fog smog and some low level of confidence percentages for snow, sandstorm and rain. So here you can create another copy of the classifier with a different training data or for a different validation or test data and for different augmentations. So that will be saved inside your project. So there is no output for now. Here I'm going to show you how you can create an output dot ML model from your all of this work or from this ML project. So here you can press the get button and rename it as the name of the classifier. So it is a climate classifier and I've pressed the button save. Now I, if I go to my a specific folder, it is saved as dot ML model. So this is the model that I can further use in my projects to uh, like uh, predict other uh, climate data or climate images. So this is all for the creation of .ml model that can be used inside any iOS device and uh, or a Mac and you can predict an image according to the like their cam uh, climate category. So this is all for the introduction and the uh, tutorial of CreateML. Now I hope you will be able to use it to create different models related to images, text and the other categories that are mentioned inside CreateML. And this is the way you can train a model. It is not even like the actual machine learning that is basically the development of the algorithms, baseline algorithms that can help you to create all this data. So if you write a Python code and in it you uh, extract the different features that is more flexible as compared to CreateML. But for a newbie to machine learning or for a person who has very specific data for specific purpose can easily use this CreateML module to create the models for their uh, like needs. And they can easily serve the purpose of the classification. Uh, so this is all. Do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I am going to explore this create ML module in my future tutorials as well. Thanks for watching.